Hi everybody. Today we're going to be learning how to use the acrylic bender, which like you see here uh, can be used to bend pretty standard sheets of acrylic. Um, in this case, this is actually a business card holder for my desk in my office. Um, and there's a lot of other uses for it too, especially for things like enclosures. Today I'm just going to do a really easy 90 degree bend on this piece of scrap acrylic we had laying around the shop. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is go over here and turn it on. And you're going to see here, be very careful with this nichrome wire. It's going to get red hot. And you'll also notice that we've uh, made some straight guidelines for you. Uh, that'll help you keep your work piece parallel. So without further ado, let's set it down here. I'm just going to pick an arbitrary spot and try my best to line it up. Now, typically this is gonna take about 90 seconds. That's what we've noticed is good. You don't wanna take too long because if you let it sit there for more than 90 seconds, um, you can find that the acrylic will actually start to bubble and it just doesn't look really nice. So you don't wanna do that. While that heats up, I can show you some of the things that some of our members have made. Um, this is a case, looks like it might be for perhaps an Arduino Mega something like that. And if you've got access to a drill press, you can drill holes through it for things like buttons or a power switch. Um, another member made this for, I believe, a NEMA 17 stepper motor. So the motor would go in here, you'd screw it in through there, they laser cut these, and of course they made the bend on the uh, acrylic bender. You might not be able to see it, but it looks like there was a little cracking there. Um, and again, that's what I mentioned. It's what happens if you uh, let it sit too long. Not the end of the world, but uh, something you want to avoid if you can. Let's see here. So we're at about a minute now. So we'll give it a little bit more time. I'll give it a little wiggle here just to see how it's doing. And it looks like this might actually be all right at 60 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and bend it to 90 degrees and I'm going to cut the power. And I'm just going to, using my hands, I'm going to just hold it there uh, and let it cool down in place. If you have a bigger workpiece, what you can do is you can use uh, small wood clamps or something like that. Uh, sometimes people will bring in a wood block and lean it up against the block at a 90 degree angle if you need a lot of precision. Another thing I've seen if you need to make fine adjustments later is people will use a heat gun, which we do have at the shop. Uh, for little minor bends and that sort of thing. All right, I think we're cooled down now, so let's see how it turned out. All right, there we go. So that's the acrylic bender. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments.